dear students uh, in the last class we discussed about the concept of dissolution of partnership business right so there we discussed the important accounts being prepared at the time of dissolution of partnership firm and uh, the most important one of the most important accounts being prepared at the time of uh, dissolution of partnership business is realization account so today we will be uh, uh, discussing about the realization account and how it is prepared what type of account it is what is the purpose of preparing this realization account and uh, how it is prepared we will see everything in detail okay so before we see or before we go to realization account we will just recollect the difference between realization account and revaluation account once again revaluation account is prepared at the time of reconstitution of partnership and realization account is prepared at the time of dissolution of partnership business okay then revaluation account is prepared only for those items uh, of which the values are changed okay those assets and liabilities for which there is a change in the value only those items will be coming in the revaluation account and profit or loss will be made out after recording all those changes okay but in realization accounts we have to record all the assets all current assets all fixed assets all current liabilities and all fixed liabilities except two three items we will see that again uh, in detail at that time you will know which are those items which are those assets which are not recorded in the realization account so these are some of the major differences between revaluation account and realization account of course both are nominal account revaluation account as well as realization account both are nominal account dear students both will give either profit or loss right okay after understanding the difference between the revaluation account and realization account let us see what is this realization account or how realization account is prepared okay dear students this is the proforma of realization account specimen of realization account uh, because at the time of dissolution we know that we have to close down all the assets and liabilities so we do that through realization account how we simply transfer the assets and liabilities all the assets and all the liabilities to the realization account right now see this realization account uh, and study it very closely you can see how these assets and liabilities are written in the realization account so to make it uh, very easy we will go step by step dear students okay now let us see uh, the first step the first step of preparing realization account is to enter all the assets in the debit side of realization account you can see it here all the assets are written in the debit side in order to close those assets and when we write those assets we exclude cash account and bank account why we exclude these items because we have to prepare this cash account and bank account separately okay so we consider that as a separate account so cash account and bank account we don't write in the debit side all the other fixed asset and current asset we write it in the debit side okay so two assets so we we may write to building to land and building to machinery to furniture to debtors to stock etc like that you will have to write all the assets one by one okay so the generic term is used to asset so which are the assets given in the balance sheet you write it one by one in the debit side and when we write the debtors make sure that you write the gross value in the debit side and if there is any provision 
for doubtful debts given it will be written in the credit side in the liability side here okay right because provision is a liability okay so this is the first step dear students step number one write all the assets except cash and bank in the debit side now second step this is the second step write all the liabilities whether fixed liability or current liability in the credit side when you write the liability make sure that you write only the external liability only the third party liabilities like uh, sundry creditors bills payable uh, bank loan overdraft or any other loan taken from any outsider okay so any third party and when we say outsider or third party from accounting point of view suppose if a loan is taken from uh, a partner's family members okay maybe wife or brother or sister or father mother anybody that also will be part of third party so that should be written in the credit side as a liability only the self loan okay only the partner's loan apna jo loan hota hai only that loan will be or will not be written here it will be written separately in that particular account okay separate loan account has to be prepared so all the third party loan or outside liabilities will be written in the uh, credit side you write all the liabilities name all the liabilities one by one we are closing all the liabilities so write it one by one if three liabilities are there all write one by one one two three like that put the amount and that is the second stage dear student first step write all the assets second step write all the liabilities of course in the opposite side okay now the third now the third step now you see all the assets we have written and these assets have been just transferred to realization account now we have to close it down how we will close these assets we have to close these assets by uh, selling that in the market we have to sell we have to sell all the assets so that we get money we get a cash which can be used for uh, settling the liabilities which can be used for the payment of liabilities that is the procedure so now we have to sell off the assets so assets may be sold in the market or it may be taken over by the partner there can be two uh, what to say the cases it may be say sold it may be taken okay it may be sold in the market it may be taken by the partner if it is sold in the market and we get money we put it under cash account we write it as by cash either by cash or by bank depending on the question what is given what which item is given in the question you follow that so we write by cash and write in the bracket assets realized so how many which assets are realized those assets will be written one by one in the credit side of course this information will be provided in the adjustments given in the question suppose here debit side three assets are there all the three assets will be in most of the cases will be coming here in most of the cases it will be coming here suppose if the asset is not sold uh, if it is taken by the partners then you see you write that particular partner's name suppose a he is taking over stock then you write by a here you write in the partner's place you write a by a's capital here you write uh, this type of a narration you write in the bracket asset i mean stock taken over okay so in that way all the assets written in the debit side will be appearing either under by cash or under partner's capital suppose five assets are here all the five assets should be coming here also in most of the cases okay we will discuss those exceptional cases later okay right so this is uh, stage number 3 first step second step third step okay so here assets have been uh, done with now come to the liability side so here we are written all the liabilities one by one 
what are liabilities are they are returned now all these liabilities are to be paid so when the liabilities are paid it will be written here to cash account or partners capital account here also it is reverse just opposite so the liability if it is paid we write to cash if it is taken by a partner if a liability is assumed by a partner if the liability if a partner has taken the responsibility to pay or to clear a liability then put it against his name right uh, so all the liabilities will be appearing in the opposite side also this is step four okay this is step four now dear students the first stage is over first stage means in the first stage itself there are four steps first include all the assets in the debit side record all the assets in the debit side and uh, when it is disposed cash will be coming in the credit side or partners capital will be coming in the credit side then liability all written then this liability is paid in the debit side in all the cases this double entry is effective here you can see okay asset is coming here it is disposed liability is coming here it is disposed so that uh, two stages two steps plus two steps total four steps we have completed okay now the next stage okay this realization expense has to be written next as to cash account right right to cash account uh, put it in the bracket realization expenses paid then if any realization expense taken over by it may be uh, the whole realization expense may be taken over by a partner then that particular partner's capital account will be written instead of cash account okay so there can be different situations okay like you see the situation where expenses need to be paid so it if the firm partnership firm is making the payment put it as to cash if a partner is taking the responsibility and for that the firm has to pay a certain money uh, if that is the case then it will go to partner's capital account okay you just to see how it is paid if it is cash you put it to cash account if a partner is making the payment put it again to his name to partner's capital account if a is making the payment put it as to s capital account right okay so this is let us say we can put it as uh, number five fifth stage about expenses then next stage if there is any unrecorded liabilities are to be paid suppose there are unrecorded liabilities liabilities which are not uh, recorded in the books but uh, those liabilities are very much there so that liability also has to be paid so it may be paid by the firm it may be paid by the partner so if it is paid by the firm you pay it write it as to cash account if if it is the partner write it against his name here the normal uh, principle is same okay paid by the firm cash paid by the partner his capital account okay so that it will be considered at the time of uh, preparing the capital accounts similar to unrecorded liability there may be unrecorded asset also okay you can see it here these two cases if it is unrecorded assets uh, which may be like no which may have been written off earlier but the, it's uh, the physically it is present it is very much uh, very much existing in the business so th this is sold off and uh, some money is realized so that money is put as cash account so any anything realized from under here unrecorded assets means the assets which are which are not found in the record books okay it is not recorded in the record book so it is not there in the books but it may be there in the business so this also will be see when there is a dissolution everything will be disposed okay out of that some assets may be there which are not recorded in the books so that also will be disposed so some money will be realized so that money will be written in the credit side by cash if it is if the money is coming by cash if a partner is taking 
the asset then it will go against his name write the name of that partner okay so it may be by cash account or by partner's capital account so liability coming in the debit side asset coming in the credit side okay okay now this number five and we can give this as number let us say this is number six and uh, this can be let us say number seven dear students now these are the major seven stages okay nice. so when all these entries are made realization account is over so what you have to do right now now we have to close the realization account you take the total you see which side is more uh, credit side or debit side if credit side is more suppose this side is more let us say the credit side is more then we get profit you can see we get profit and we write the profit here and this profit will be shared in the profit sharing ratio among the partners dear students if uh, the debit side is more because it is a nominal account if debit side is more then it will be loss so this will be again distributed among the partners in the same ratio so either profit or loss only one will be there out of this two it may be loss it may be profit only one will be there in that way you complete the realization account and the balance whatever balance is there may be profit may be loss it will go to the partners capital account okay right so here we complete the realization account this is the basic steps basic principles of preparing uh, realization accounts dear students i hope you have understood how to prepare the realization account now uh, uh, there is one thing one thing uh, don't forget when the liabilities are all written we don't write partners capital account we don't write any profit and loss account uh, credit balance we don't write any general reserve okay that part is uh, very important because for all that uh, we have to make separate accounts like a partners capital account we have to prepare and general reserve of course will be distributed in the partners capital account only and if partners loan account we have to prepare separately so those accounts will not be coming in the realization account dear students okay similar to the assets when we write the assets cash and bank will not be written here when we write the liabilities capital account partners loan account any reserve uh, or any profit and loss account credit balance or debit balance will not be written in the realization account okay now we will see some of the special items how to deal with some of the facial items which may be there in the question okay uh, these are uh, special items which need special care special treatment so we are going to see those items one by one the first one is fictitious asset these are the fictitious assets normally we get in a question like a profit and loss account debit balance okay profit and loss account debit balance why it is it is known as fictitious asset because it is appearing in the balance sheet and this is not a real asset okay this profit and loss account debit balance is appearing in the asset side of a balance sheet but we know that it is not a real asset it is written in the balance sheet balance sheet asset side in order to tally the balance sheet okay it is not a real asset so once we find a fictitious asset in the balance sheet in the asset side it may be profit and loss account debit balance if it is credit balance it will come in the liability side then we don't call it a fictitious asset only the debit balance will be coming dear students profit and loss account debit balance that means loss in the asset side then it is fictitious assets fictitious assets are not real assets okay so it may be profit and loss account debit balance it may be deferred uh, revenue expense example advertisement suspense account okay so if you find any of these items in the asset side then 
uh, what is the treatment the treatment is very simple you just carry it forward you take it to the capital account you transfer the item to the capital account so automatically when you transfer these items to the capital account it will be going to the debit side of partners capital account this is loss and this also you will have to be deferred revenue expense also should be going to the debit side of uh, partners capital account you transfer it and uh, distribute it in the profit sharing ratio in the capital account debit side don't forget it okay so this balance sheet it is coming in the asset side and it will be coming in the I have written it here it will be coming in the or it will be transferred to the capital accounts debit side in the profit sharing ratio now the uh, other items like there may be an asset a, a denotes asset an asset may be taken over by a creditor in full okay that means a creditor may be taking a machinery or a furniture or some stock as a part of settlement okay to settle the account so if they take any asset in full then no entry will be passed this is very important no entry it will be is a type of an a barter system it will be automatically it will be closed okay if uh, even after taking some assets still there is some balance to be paid suppose the credit is 50,000 and uh, in order to settle that 50,000 he has taken the creditor has taken let us say goods worth rupees 40,000 so 10,000 is remaining that is the balance to be paid so pay it that means any balance you pay it in the realization account debit side to cash account right in the bracket balance amount paid balance credit is balance paid finished okay so if it is taken full no entry if it is taken part then the remaining balance you pay it in the realization account in the debit side okay now the third one I have already explained asset and liability unrecorded if it is unrecorded what is the amount realized you just to find out you put it in the if it is asset you put it in the realization account credit side by cash and uh, if the liability is paid it should be coming in the debit side to cash because it is the payment okay then if it is taken over by the partners instead of cash you put that partner's name whether in the debit side or in the credit side in case of assets or liability respectively okay this we have already discussed okay now number four fourth item this is also very important if the question is silent of any assets or liabilities in the adjustment that means in the balance sheet it is given okay in the balance sheet item is given balance sheet may be there okay in the balance sheet it is given but in the adjustment there is no information no instruction nothing so if it is an asset in the balance sheet it is given it may be something like a, let us say goodwill okay it is given in the balance sheet uh, but in the adjustment there is nothing mentioned whether it is sold or how much money is realized we don't know so nothing is there then you just ignore it don't write anything nothing is given nothing to be written uh, but if it is a liability of course we know that there is a liability given in the balance sheet that means it must be paid compulsory we have to pay it okay otherwise the third party is no uh, to whom we have to pay the money they will take the partners to the court okay so all the liabilities must be paid so we have to pay so even if nothing there in the adjustment, how much is the balance sheet? What is the recorded value? If it is 10,000, if the liability is 10,000, it is recorded in the balance sheet. It is uh, recorded in the realization account also. So about the payment, nothing is given, but we have to pay 10,000. Okay, if the liability is 10,000, you pay 10,000. Okay, as an example, let us say liability is 10,000 nothing is given in the adjustment 
so we have to in the realization account we have to put it in this way okay to get suppose liability is coming liability is coming this side liability is coming okay so that liability suppose if it is 10,000 this is what I was telling uh, let us say liability is there so we have to write liability is there in the balance sheet so we write but about this liability nothing is given in the adjustment question is silent okay so don't think that uh, no need to write this liability we have to give this liability we have to pay this liability in this way to cash you put this liability here how much 10,000 nothing more nothing less okay if no information is there now if there is any third party loan any third party loan given I have already told you just to treat it as a liability it is a, of course a liability so you will have to put it in the realization account in the credit side as the first item remember the second step where we write all the liabilities there you put the third party loan it may be bank loan it may be or overdraft or it may be any other loan taken by anybody any third party that means it may be partners relative also family members also okay we have to write only the partners loan we will not write okay so that is number five so sixth one i have written partners loan if it is partners loan don't write it in the realization account you put it in the separate you have to make a separate account where we have to settle this loan account okay so don't write it write in the realization account partners loan that is the treatment now seventh one general reserve profit and loss account i have already told you uh, if there is any general reserve given profit and loss account given then you will have to take it to the capital account you put it in the capital account you, there you know it is the treatment is more or less same almost same exactly same we can say uh, as uh, partners admission retirement and death you give to the capital accounts give to the partners in the capital accounts in the existing ratio okay so general reserve no problem profit and loss account also it may be debit or credit or debit means loss so you have to put it in the debit side of capital account okay uh, credit uh, normally it goes to the credit side okay so that is capital account okay as an example this is a debit no this is a profit and loss account a debit it will suppose this is a capital account loss will be coming here in the debit side and uh, this is general reserve and a profit and loss account a credit it will be coming in the credit side this also will be coming in the credit side okay credit balance put it in the credit side of capital account debit balance put it here okay now there is goodwill what happens if there is goodwill very simple you treat goodwill just like any other fixed asset any other fixed asset okay you see the amount given in the balance sheet put it in the asset side write it as an asset then see if any money is realized out of goodwill if money is coming you put it in the opposite side by cash account if Question is silence in the adjustment, nothing is about goodwill. Don't uh, consider it, don't write, finished. So, this is just like goodwill treatment, is just like any other asset. Okay, in most of the cases, this goodwill may not be there in the, in the question. Okay, it will not be there in the balance sheet also okay now the last one last special item is about the current account balances what happens if any this is current okay t is there if current account balances are given again it is very simple if current account balance are given we should know that they are following fixed capitals method so this current account balance you see whether it is debit or credit whatever is the balance what you have to do you have to you open the current account then close it write the opening balance write the closing balance by transferring the balance to capital account you transfer the balance to the capital account okay so in the capital account it will be you know it will look like the debit balance it will be transferred it will come in the debit side and uh, credit balance it will come in the credit side okay so close the current account balance by transferring 
the balance to partner's capital account and partner's capital account will be will be uh, uh, what to say the totaled and the closed and that balance will go to the cash account okay so there the settlement will take place and when everything is completed then cash account or bank account you will get tallied so this is the procedure okay now i i hope you understood how to prepare the uh, realization account so these are the some of the special items we will have to consider in a question so in a comprehensive question we have to prepare realization account then realization account of profit or loss we transfer to capital account then we open capital account we include all the items we normally include in the capital accounts then in the capital account itself uh, after totaling we find out the balance and uh, we settle the accounts by making the payments okay so after including all the items in the capital accounts we make the settlement and uh, that amount the settled amount will go to the cash account again and in the cash account we include all the related items we pick up items from realization account from capital account and of course cash account balance will be there so we prepare cash account in detail and uh, at last when we total the cash accounts or bank accounts you will get it tallied it will be equal okay so this is the complete procedure a treatment of partnership dissolution okay so this is how we have to prepare realization account this is how we have to prepare other accounts and settle the accounts when there is dissolution of partnership business hope you all understood okay and in the next class we will uh, learn the practical side of it how to solve a particular question on dissolution of partnership business we will solve one comprehensive question in the next class okay right